Welcome back to Pong Mrs. Channel. In our previous video, we demonstrated the usage of Wi-Fi address. In this video, we will give you through the installation of Wi-Fi VN and a method to establish remote communication with the inverter through the mobile app. Let's get started. Just like before, assemble the two module of the data collector and connect a dedicated wiring to it. Then connect the other end of the wiring to the communication port at the bottom of the inverter. Once the wiring is complete, securely position the collector for easy observation of the indicator lights. If both the PWR and COM indicators on the collector are solid, it means that the Wi-Fi connection to the inverter is successful. After Wi-Fi module is connected to the inverter, we can proceed with the mobile app setup. Start by scanning the QR code in the user menu to download the Smart ESS app. Once downloaded, go to your phone's Wi-Fi setting. Select the Wi-Fi network with the same PN number as on the data collector and connect to it. The initial password is 12345678. Next, open the app Go to the Toolbox section, choice Wi-Fi Setup, and click Next. Enter the Wi-Fi name and password for the Wi-Fi module's network configuration. After successful configuration, go back to main screen. Click on Sign Up, input required information. Now you have successfully registered your account. Click Login to access the main page. Tap the Add icon on the upper right corner to add the data collector. Follow the prompt to into the necessary information and click Complete. Go back to Data Collector list. Select the Data Collector from the top left corner and you will see the successfully added data collector. After this point, all four indicators on the data collector should be lit and the net indicator should be flashing. Click on the connected device to assess the device data monitoring screen. Now you can easily monitor the data and state of the inverter remotely. This includes monitoring the energy flow between the different modules, power generation and consumption statistics, parameter analysis, data overview, and the device alarm status. That concludes the complete guild of the Wi-Fi VM. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and we will see you in our next video.